Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a spoiler filled review for Chaos and Flame. Um, I will put it right here up on the screen somewhere in this vicinity. Um, so let's get started. So I just got done reading um, Chaos and Flame um, and let me tell you, so I rated it a 3.5. Now that I like think a little bit more about it and sit with it, I probably need to lower it to a three. It's not that I didn't enjoy it. I think my biggest issue with it was it was advertised as a fantasy romance, a YA fantasy romance. And the romance, I just didn't enjoy it at all <laughs> like I thought at first it was going to be like a love triangle um between the two brothers and darling but then it didn't happen that way but I don't know so let's start at the beginning um so chaos and flame takes place in this fantasy world called uh prelum prelum i'm probably pronouncing that incorrect um but there are six different houses house dragon house kraken house Sphinx, house um griffin house uh cockatrice and house barguest um, and at the beginning of the book, all of these houses lived in peace. Well, the scion to the house regent of Dragon House, um, he was having these visions. Um, and so in this world, everybody has an ability or, um, a lot of people have magical abilities. Um, they call those boons. And you're born with it. So the scion of the house dragon regent, his boon was prophecy. And the prophecies, he didn't talk about them and go into like some trance. He painted them or drew them. He drew what he saw. Um, so he kept drawing this girl. Never met this girl in his life. Um... And his mother found out and told him, hey, this is a very dangerous boon. You need to keep it secret. Well, one day he saw um, his mother die. But his mother told him to keep it secret so he didn't say anything. Well, his mother died exactly how he saw it. And um, it just devastated him because he was like, I could have helped. That was the beginning of this young scion's um, madness. Now his aunt found out about it and told him that I will help you, blah, blah, blah. Um, so she decided to take his prophecies and use them for her own good, where she became the dragon seer to the regent. Well, the regent, because of his wife's death, um, began a war between all the houses. He killed off House Sphinx, who he was told killed his wife. Um, years later, his uh, the house regent dies. And so then the young scion becomes the regent. Well, they like, he locks himself in a tower in Phoenix Crest, which is the place of where the last Phoenix lived. Um, what, and it was also in House Sphinx. Um, and that was the end of the prequel or the prologue. Um, going in, into it, you meet Darling, who was of House Sphinx, we come to find, but she grew up in the sewers. She's the only survivor that we know of, of, of House Sphinx, but she got brought, she got, um, taken in by House Kraken. Um, as one of the orphans. Um, so she was taught to fight. She was taught to be a warrior for them, especially because um, her boon is healing, 
but then she also has eyes that were transformed by chaos is what they call their god um in this world and she can't see in the light so she has these goggles that dim the light around her now when it's dark she can take them off she can see perfectly um so to survive she was transformed um then we also meet our other main character talon he is the scion of house dragon because his brother caspian is the prince regent uh, regent um so also the house dragon when he started the war the original one um he decreed that he would become prince regent over all the houses so you have regents of each house but they are under the prince regent which is from dragon house um so anyway talon was sent to the army of the dragon when he was about 14. um caspian sent him to do this we're not entirely sure why other than talon thinks it's to basically caspian to be um rid of his brother um come to find you know caspian loves his brother but he because he has a prophecy boon he sees things so he's trying to place people where he sees them to be um so basically um they're in a little town um I forget what it's called, but um, him and the Dragon Teeth, which is a special force part of the army, are in this little town, um, keeping an eye on it. Um, but they were going to leave, um, but they got intel that House Kraken was going to um, attack because they're, they think that their regent is in that house, uh, in that little town. So, um, before House Kraken, um, attacks, Talon gets a message from his aunt that says, Caspian says that he must save her, which is, we come to find Darling, who is the girl that Caspian has been drawing. Um, and so basically, Talon and Darling meet. Talon and her fight, um, but then she's knocked out by one of Talon's soldiers whose boon is to basically put people to sleep. Um, and then she wakes up in Phoenix Crest in House Dragon. Um, and that is when I, I believe we officially meet Caspian. And I'm not sure how old he is at the time. I think he's in his mid-20s. Um, mid to early 20s but he he's gone he's pretty much gone mad pretty much um but you know the aunt is trying to keep it under wraps um talon is also trying to keep it under wraps um but he has caspian has big plans for darling um he announces that she's the long lost um long lost relative or something of one of the um feet of the um sphinx house and now she's the new scion and then they're gonna go on a huge tour and blah 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 um so she can get reparations and then be named regent of house sphinx because he wants to bring it back oh and he's decided the war is over ended the war all that stuff um they go on this big tour and in it, Caspian kisses Darling on the first leg of the tour. Um, and Darling at this point is, you know, she's still not, she wants to kill both the princes, okay? Um, she's been given this uh, lip balm that has poison in it. So if she does kiss either of them, they're there to die. She put it on um, one, she keeps forgetting to put it on. And so when Caspian kissed her, she didn't have it on. 
And she was kind of taken aback, like, what in the world's going on? Um, so at first I thought, oh, okay, maybe the romance is between her and Caspian. But then, you know, Talon is starting to get feelings and Darlene's getting feelings for Talon. And I'm like, okay, well, then Cat, then it's not a triangle. It's definitely between Talon and Darlene. And that's where the writing for the romance I didn't quite like. Because, like, I wasn't drawn to it. I wasn't getting these, like, tingling feelings of, like, the angst or the um, connection um, to these two characters. I loved reading when Caspian was in a scene. I absolutely loved it because you didn't know what he was going to do. For his character, he was so crazy and spoke in riddles and that was what held me on for this book. Um... Not the romance. And I mean, eventually, Talon and Darling get together. You know, it's the end of the book at this point. Nothing really has happened other than the region of Barga has, has passed. Um, Caspian took two artifacts from House Griffin, which was the first house that they visited, and another artifact from House uh, Cockatrice, which was the second house that they visited before Bargahest. Um, now, the day before the naming is what they're calling it, uh, they had a wake. And in the wake, that's when Talon and Darling, you know, finally get together and then they get engaged and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know, I didn't have that, yes, finally, you know, I didn't have that feeling. I was very disappointed, to be quite fair. Um, and so, that was okay. But, here's my thing, okay? So, I've been trying, they've been talking about this last phoenix through the whole book, okay? I've been trying to figure out, it's like, Okay, you have to know, it's right there on the wall. This girl, darling, is the is the the new phoenix. This is the new phoenix. How it's going to be depicted in the book, I'm not sure. Then, it was brought up when they were in House Cockatrice that there used to be Imperials, which is what uh, the Regents could turn into their house animal um magnificent power okay so that's where i'm like okay she's gonna turn into a phoenix but how how is this gonna happen so we're at the end and caspian you know is sitting on his throne you've got all the regents um, and then instead of the son of the Bargahest late regent, the brother is going to be named the new regent instead. But he's the second scion. Usually that doesn't happen in this world, okay? Um, so Caspian like flips out because he's like, that's not what's supposed to happen. Because he sees this. He's like, this this isn't supposed to happen. So he flips out. Then, you know, he just is like, oh, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But then the ant turns on him, okay? And is like, Caspian is going to betray us all and blah, 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 whatever. And like, he he's just like, I don't have time for this. And he walks out, just nonchalantly walks out. So then you've got Talon, because crack, because apparently the Kraken ships are, they're out in the coast. Well, they start to attack. 
Well, Darling is like, release Linetti, the regent. He'll make it stop. And Talon goes, no, we can't do that. We have to keep him as a hostage because we don't know if they will stop. So Darling gets pissed. And then she leaves and she goes after Caspian. Talon then is trying to get everybody, you know, um, organized. The army organized. He has his aunt take Linetti, which is the house regent to the Kraken house. Um, and so he goes off and he does his own thing. So Caspian's out on these ramparts, okay? Darlene finds him there. He then goes, I'm trying to find this. I can't find this thing. He's trying to find some artifact of Vargahest. He then asks Darla, Darlene to go back and get her a uh, dagger that they got from House Griffin, which is the talisman he got from there. So she goes, runs off, and goes and does that. Talon then goes into this um, war room where he's got everybody organized, but Barga has soldiers are acting weird, all this other kind of stuff, and he's like, give me a report, what's going on? Come to find, it's actually mercenary ships that are attacking, and the Kraken ships are starting to attack, but they're attacking the mercenary ships. So there's a plot because Bargahes doesn't want the war to end because they're greedy motherfuckers. Uh, and yeah, so there's a big fight in there. Basically all the Bargahes people die and Talon goes, okay, I need to go find Finn, which is his right hand man. Hold the fort down here. Before he goes to find Finn, he finds his aunt doing blood magic in her room and kills Lanetti. She literally slices him up and sticks her hand inside to rip out his heart, takes a bite of the heart, and Talon's like disgusted, okay? He's like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on. So, he then has her locked up, whatever, because like it's like, uh, this ain't this is not okay. Blood ma blood magic is not okay. We come to find and I forget who says it. I think it's Caspian. Um, or maybe Talon realizes this. But the aunt killed their mother because she wanted to marry their father. So, but she was in league with the now regent of Bargahest. So there's that, <laughs> okay? Finally, Finn, or Talon finds Finn. Finn says, hey, I found this in Darlene's room. It's lip balm, but it's poisonous. So what was going to happen is she was going to get close to both of you, kiss you, and kill you. So then the last thing that his aunt says is she, she kisses him, he dies, I think. That's, I, I'm paraphrasing. So that's only what Talon can think about. So he's now running to find his brother and darling. Back to this. Caspian is telling her these stories, okay? Basically about him. And he's been painting, like, basically, um, like, like a star or symbols or whatever. And then she, he slices Darlene's arm open with that griffin dagger and it's got poison in it well her healing bo her boon is healing but because of this poison it slows it down so she first off can't move and then she also can't heal 
he's talking to her like this is no big deal whatever placing what he has found talisman wise per all the houses well then he lifts up this jar that has the heart of the last phoenix in it opens it up he takes a bite then he kisses darling and I don't know how it happens, but then they both, like, she still can't move, okay? But she, after the kiss is done, she feels hot. Everything is on fire. So then we're, that's her perspective, okay? Done with her perspective. We go to Talon's perspective. He's seeing all this. So he's thinking, oh, Oh, crap. They just kissed. My brother's going to die. But really, then he witnesses his brother turning into a dragon. And Darling turning into a phoenix. Then he looks down into the water and he sees a kraken tearing apart ships. So Caspian has just opened up some power that was held back that I believe from what he was saying, chaos wanted him to do. He wanted, chaos wanted Caspian to open, to bring this power back. So then, you know, the dragon and the phoenix just fly away. And that's the end of the book. And I'm like, so what's next? I, I, I have to know what's next. And it's not the romance part of it. I don't, I don't even care about that anymore. I want to know where the dragon and the phoenix go. Where do they go? What's going to happen? You know? Um, that, that's just where I'm at. I, and, you know, the worst part? That book doesn't even come out, the new one, until May of next year. May! Like, mmm. So, that is my review of Chaos and Flame. Basically, it was just me wanting to talk about it. Because I needed, I needed to talk about it. I, I needed to be like, hey, fantasy plot, great. Romance, no. Romance sucked, okay? Don't pick this book up because you want a romance. Pick it up just because it's fantasy. Because the fantasy part of it is great. Now, maybe the romance might work for you, but the romance didn't, it just didn't work for me. So, thank you guys for joining me on my rant slash review of Chaos and Flame. Go out and be good people. When you feel it's hopeless, when you think that you're lost.